Back to the car. Call Spencer. Right. Thanks, Miles. What started all this? Well, we spotted this guy and went after him. He tossed it into the river. What'd he look like? I didn't get a good look at him. He was short. I don't know. It might have been a kid. A kid or a short man? Well, one or the other. Well, you got yourself a briefcase. Life insurance, Mr. Farrell. It's vital. Look, if you're gonna talk, then talk. But let's stop playing games, huh? I uh, always talk better after a beer. Waiter. Another beer. For my friend. You know, Mr. Farrell, the only trouble with swapping information is that I'm not quite sure who I'm swapping information with. I'm no better off. Now, you're either a cop or the driver of that car. That uh, makes it kind of risky, doesn't it? Somebody's got that money. I'm uh, glad to hear you say that, Mr. Farrow, because until I saw you tonight, I had a kind of a panicky feeling that you had it. <laughs> I'd be in Mexico City by now. Yeah, so would I. Mexico City, girls gambling, Plush life, huh, Mr. Farrell? Okay, keep it. Look, we're not getting anywhere. Now, what do you want? I propose, Mr. Farrell, that uh, you and I join forces. After all, something is better than nothing. I tell you what I'll do. If I come into some money, I'm going to invest in a cemetery plot for you. How's Frank making out, Dave? You know, if anybody told me I'd leave him alone with my cash register, I'd have said they were crazy. <laughs> Never saw such change in one kid in my life. Yeah, well, Frank, he's sure straightened out, all right. Of course, you're giving him that job, though. You know, I even caught him reading a book the other day. A book? Yeah, on the stock market. <laughs> What's he going to buy, one share of bottle tops? Oh, he had a million dollars to invest. In. Yeah, up here. Yeah. It's a sin she won't get rich on what I'm paying him. Thanks, mister. Hey, you still there? What you been doing? Ah, oh, sorry, I had a customer. No, I was just down here figuring interest rates on the money. Hey, Ellie, uh, I'm gonna have to call you back. I gotta go now. What can I do for you, mister? I uh, just wanted to use your phone. I need a little change. What's the matter, son? Just surprised me, that's all. The door was open. 
How much you need? Dollar be enough? Yeah, that'll be fine. You uh, interested in the stock market? Hey, what is this? You come in here nosing around my books? I got some studying to do, mister. Why well, you just want to use your phone? Well, use it then. Sure. Hello. Jackson checking in. Hello, Lieutenant. Oh, I think somebody gave us a bum lead. But uh, I think I'm on to something else. No, just a hunch. Right, I'll talk to you when I get in. Thanks. I'm uh, sorry to have troubled you. No trouble. Who made the call? Frankie, what are you gonna do? We're gonna get out of here. Come on. Frankie, I won't run. Ali, meet me after school, will you? Spend your afternoon scaring kids. I think a partnership would be easier on both of us, Farrell. I don't mind the work. You make it easy. See, I kind of look on you as a labor-saving device. <laughs> just don't push it, Farrell. The cops would just love to find the driver of that car. I don't think they'd be interested in a tip from you. Broken down ex-cop got caught with his hand in the till. You weren't hard to check on. Mr. Wig. Hey, what are you doing home? Sit down, kid. Well, looks like I'm gonna be around for a while. Yeah? How come? The usual foul up. You see, the Army didn't like the missile we made for them, and they canceled the contract. So here I am, back on the front porch guzzling beer. Hey, what are you doing home from school? Uh, I wasn't feeling so good. Look at it. Look at it. Ain't it a dream? Crazy Venice. People fight their way clear across the continent till they get to the ocean. There's no place to go but down or up. So we got aircraft, plants, and oil wells all over the coast. Down and up, up and down and back. Here, kid, have a beer. Maybe you'll feel better. How long are you going to be out? Well, they don't tell you that. You know, I'm like a kid running the wrong way on a department store escalator. He runs like hell, and when he finally makes it, the floor manager comes and kicks him out of the store. Look, Pop, don't worry. We'll get along. I got a job. Thank you. There's a way out of all this. There's a way out for you. You can buy your way out. All it takes is money. 
Hey, maybe we could go out to dinner. Some real swell place. Just the two of us. My treat, huh? No, Frankie. Save your money. Save it. Well, I think I'll go in and take a little nap. Maybe you should, too, if you don't feel so good. You know, Frankie, when you was little, you ached and had a pain. Your ma used to give you something she called Paragard. But I think it was love. I ducked him. Then I went home and I went for a drive. Frankie, what is it? Ellie, if you drive down the street, I, I mean any street, just look at the billboards. Fly to Hawaii, live like a king in Las Vegas. Or you look in the shop windows, jewelry, furs, and all of a sudden it hits you right over the head. If you can't spend, you're nothing. Just nothing. Frankie, everybody can't have those things. Well, we can, and we can have them right now. My old man just lost his job. Put a look on his face. Makes you want to cry. And the cure isn't love or paragoric. It's money. I'm sorry about your father, Frank. Sure, I am too. But that doesn't help him any. We're unhappy because we're scared. At least I am. Because I don't know what would happen if we gave the money back. We'd stay poor, that's what had happened. Maybe the only thing between us is the money. That's why I'm scared, Frankie. Because we're not together anymore. Ellie. Yesterday I said I loved you. But I can't say it anymore. Why not? Because I don't know what the money means or what we mean to each other. I have to go home now.
Charlie. You didn't think you'd lose me, did you? Yeah, I, I was getting lonesome. Hardware? Just keeping my hand warm. If we stand here talking like this, the kid's gonna lose both of us. He ain't gonna lose me. I just want to talk. What do you got in that bag? Laundry? Yeah, yeah, laundry. Mind if I take a look? I've been calling you for hours. I just got here. Frankie, 
I couldn't go to sleep until I talked to you. About what I said this afternoon. I didn't mean it. I... But you were right, Ellie. I mean, we can get along. Money's not everything. Ellie, I'm going to give it back. Oh, Frankie. Hi, Frankie boy. Ellie, I gotta hang up now. We wondered when you were gonna knock this place over. You didn't plan on leaving us out, did you? Get out of here, Tony. Where does he keep it? Get out of here. Be gentle, Frank. You get him out of here, Jerry. The old man don't keep any cash here. Get out of here, I'll bust your heads open. Operator, get me to the police department. This is Frank Rubello. I'm down here at Dave's garage. I got that 200,000 bucks you've been looking for. <laughs> All right, where is it? Now look, mister. Don't talk. Just give. Come on, come on, give. This one won't tell us anything. 